All right, back we go. It is September 24th, end of the month, coming upon us. Um, doing some videos today, just did the spy. Let's check out the NASDAQ. Um, yeah, longer range, shorter range, mid range. Let's see what's going on with that. All right, let's see where we're at right now. <clears throat> All right, so NASDAQ peaked at this candle here, 16,212. And look where we're at now, 10,867. Wow. All right, so you had to move up. Yeah, the eventual high came down, tried to bounce, and that was the first lower high. And that was about, you know, 15,889. Then we came back down, big drop, huge drop, bounced up. Got to, you know, 14,500. Then another big drop. We got to the retracement level, which is now 38.2 which is just above 12,500. There's your second bounce right here, big bounce, 14,500. Next big move down, below 11,108. Uh, 11, then we had a smaller bounce here, you got above 12,000. This is the low right now, 10,565. Then we had a tremendous bounce July, August to the high right here, 13,181. And here we are now. We had the drop in August, peak of this little move. Then we came back, nice little four candle bounce here. And then we dropped again. Yeah, the Fed spoke. Um, it's going to put the hammer on the market. They're letting up. That means, you know, a lot of things are coming down. Gas prices coming down. I think oil, let me check right now. Oil is at 79.43. Crude's dropping big time. Yeah, a lot of things are dropping. Uh, lumber. Lumber was down 25%. Palladium. Let me just bring the screen over real fast. All right, so you can see here, you know, crude's down 4%. Cocoa down 2.9%. Cotton, 4%. Palladium, 5%. Gold. Look at uh, lumber though. Where is this at? Uh, lumber, lumber, lumber. Twenty-five. Excuse me, not twenty-five percent. I meant a uh, five point forty percent. As I messed that up earlier. Clean hogs. That's actually down eleven percent, almost twelve percent. Yeah, all red on the board. Here's oats. You know, commodities are getting crushed because that's what the Fed needs to do to control inflation. So he's trying to crush everything, which, you know, housing market's getting crushed. Um, autos are coming down slowly. You know, oil, I said gas prices. Food, I don't think food's coming down that fast, but maybe it's coming down at this point a little bit. Um, you know, we'll see what happens as this plays out, you know, into this year, to end of this year. Yeah, you know, how this is going to play out. Is it going to be a massive recession? Um He's trying to kill the market. He's trying to kill the stock market, housing. Everything has to come down from, you know, the COVID low, free money. Everyone's getting 1,200 checks. How about all these stocks went one to 100? IPOs, EV, uh, EV stocks, uh, merger acquisition companies, like all these fake companies too. They're like, you look them up and they're pure scams. You know what I mean? They have funding, I guess. And... Yeah, the stock ran up with the market, and they're just pure garbage at that point. Yeah, we'll see what happens here. And, you know, he doesn't look like he's letting the foot off the gas as far as he's going to keep raising interest rates in the next year. So, yeah, this is looking pretty bad at this point. To me, 2000, 2008, and now, you know, of course, these are the top three drops in the market, you know, in recent times. We'll see where this compares, how this finally ends. All right, so <clears throat> let's see. Um, all right, we have a, this is a, um, on my, uh, excuse me, on my YouTube channel too, I do a lot of education stuff. People, you know, don't know the market. They don't understand what all these lines are. They're probably looking at it like it's, you know, foreign language. You have right here, this is a sort of, it. this is a broadening descending wedge. It means it's broadening out wider and wider as you go down and, it's descending, it's going down, which is not good. So you have one move here, line, second line, pretty much here, here, and you see the lower line. We're in this big channel, and this wedge going down. 
and where we're at right now. So that low 10,565, this low 10,732, we're very close to it. We're very oversold to it, 410. Now, the move next week, as I called in the SPY video, you know, are we going to bounce up here? We're very far away from 13 EMA. This could bounce. We get a little bounce, 11,500, you know, before our next leg down. Or are we just going to continue? Maybe like smaller little sideways move and then go back down and break this below 10,500. I don't think we're just getting a rally and going straight up to 12,500. It's fine. You know, right off the bat, just because we're oversold. I don't think so. You know, anything's possible. As you can see here, too, we're tracing levels, 23.6 fibs, 38.2, 50%. Next line here is at 61.8 retracement level. And that would be about 10,304, which is very um, doable at this point. And it looks like that COVID high is, let me see here if I can see this little candle. That'll be 98.38. I think that's a next level to right around that. You know, the 10,000 mark's huge. It's a significant number, you know, 10,000 whole numbers or like 10, 15, 20. So 10,000, we'll watch. And see this wedge too, this broadening wedge as we're going down? It's getting wider and wider. So I have a line right here on that COVID low. Now it looks like this ultimate line could be about just above 8,000, 9,000. And that could be the ultimate low. We'll see. Let's look in the weekly. <clears throat> and a weekly going back, you can see that high in 2000.com. And there's your high line now with the all time high. And here's your low on the other side, which is 2016. There's 2020, the COVID low. Let's see what I mean? It goes right here. And, you know, that will be the next possible low. Of not recent, but not a recent low, but eventually that could be the low. And you can see weekly we're going down. This is straight down. This is not good in stochastics. Monthly, all right, stick look at the monthly. The monthly at the dot com, look at this, a ram up, big move up. 95, 98, 9, 2000, look at that. Look at that peak. Then we went right back down. Total pyramid on this. Look at this up, down, then we crashed. So that's the high. Draw your line here, the all-time high, and that's your highest line ever. Here's your lowest line, 2016. A little bit off to 29. If it's a chart here, I could actually put another one. We'll see. It could be the chart. Sometimes the charts didn't exactly match up. You draw this, that 2016. All right. So yeah, the COVID. I don't know COVID. 20, 2009. Financial prices low. There you go. And that's the 2015, 16. We're pretty much went sideways in the market. Here's 2019. There's the COVID. So, yeah, this low that might be a little off because it could be just the charting, but yeah, you know, we'll say 7,000. That will be um, you know, extremely overshoot low. 8,000. To me, 8,000, 9,000. Could be the bottom here. Could be eventually the ultimate bottom. And then we'll see if we get when we get past ten thousand. I think that shouldn't be a problem. We'll blow past that low. Look at this too. The thirteen EMA above twenty EMA. How this was going up, and now look at this. It's on the other side. It's actually the twenty EMA wants to cross over, which is extremely bearish. And look at right here. So K six nineteen ninety five. It did cross up that nice little move. Now it looks like it's touching again. It wants to cross back down which is not a good sign. And right now, look at this. This is, I'm trying to see here. The low on stochastics, I can get that. 963 on NASDAQ COVID. Uh, the COVID plus the drop we have now. Oh, there's COVID, I'm sorry, not COVID. I meant the drop we have now. So 963, financial crisis. Look to be about 13. So we're actually beat that. And it looks like the dot com crash, the low on stochastics was 544. So on NASDAQ, that was probably the biggest drop ever. Stochastics, this looks like the second biggest. 
you know, could we go even lower? It's possible if this crosses and goes back or could retest that. <clears throat> so this is the monthly. Let's look at the quarterly. Look at the quarter. You can see on that 1994-95 move all the way up to the dot-com crash. Look at how this thing was it's moving. And see again, look how far away your 1320 EMA is. When you're any stock, day trading, um, swing trading, we get that far away, that's not a good sign. And then we came all the way back, went under it. 2008, 2009, NASDAQ wasn't as bad. You were a little above it. And then here is the COVID move. And look at that straight up. Now we're going way back down. And look at this too, stochastics. The rule for me is 80, of course, overbought, 20 oversold. 50 is that midline. 50 is a great support. You know, if you're going to have, you know, big pullback correction, bear market, 50 is a good stopping point. If you go below 50, you were in trouble. That's what happened in 2000. That's what happened in 2008. Went way below. It looks like the low on the quarterly was. 276 on stochastics. That's incredible. That's extreme. 20 is very oversold. It's very oversold. If you get below that, it's a serious problem. 1842, that's pretty low. Financial crisis right now. You know, we're streamlining down on the quarterly chart. So is 50 going to stop it there? It depends how this works out. I don't think it's going to hold there at 50. You know, if you put in 2,000 more points, 8,000, I'm not sure how that coincides. All right, the yearly chart, you have three candles on NASDAQ 2001, financial crisis. See one here, 2018. Look at this candle. This candle is massive. This engulfs like almost every candle. That's why volatility is increasing year after year. Bigger and bigger moves. Everything's getting stronger and bigger in volatility. It's incredible. And it looks like right here, too, you had... 98.15 on stochastics. And that was extremely high. Now we're crossing back down. So there's the look at the daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, yearly. And we're going back down. And I think we're going to overshoot this COVID high below 10,000. You know, if we go below here, below, to say below 10,000, you probably get the next move up, a bounce to near 12,000. Next move down. That could be the final leg your January, February, possible. It'll be 9,000, you know, 8,000, then we bounce up again. We'll see how this plays out. But this is classic broadening, descending wedge. You have that COVID low, that line going across, that would be tremendous support around that eight to 9,000 level on the NASDAQ. So there we go. We'll see what happens immediately next week. If we continue to waterfall, and break that low in June, then eventually get a nice little bounce, which would be, you know, the highest bounce, I say, it's going to be lower because we keep going lower on the highs, so probably like 12,500. We look for that, maybe 12,000. So we'll see on that. So that's a NASDAQ. So NASDAQ is ugly. It's, um, you know, the high was 16,000. It's now at 10,867. Yeah, a lot of stocks getting stocks getting crushed. Uh, Amazon, Microsoft, uh, what else? A lot of these tech stocks are just totally uh, hammered at this point. So it's not looking good. How long will this bear market last for you know all the indices? It's hard to say. It's going to last until it does, until something breaks, something you know officially ends it. Uh, the Fed, you know, we'll see how this plays out. All right, so that's it. Please subscribe to my Cayman Trader Alerts on YouTube. Smash the like button. Check out any links below. Um, on my links below for Twitter, Stock Twits. Uh, what else do I have? Um, I can't even think right now. Um, Stock Twits, Twitter, Instagram, and that's it. TikTok. Peace.